everyone how you doing today i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a lenovo g41 laptop this one is a lenovo g41-30 the model name is an 80lf and in this video i'm going to take you on step by step how to open it up how to clean up the heat sink the fan and the motherboard i also do a repaste so i'm going to try to keep this as short as i can so it's going to be a little bit of a long process, but I'll show you step by step. All right, number one, all you need is a screwdriver set. I'll recommend you to grab the Pro set of the iFixit screwdriver set, which would be the link in my video description. I'll leave the link in my video description. From here, we're going to use a Phillips number one. Also, if you get the Pro set, they will give you an opening tools and tweezers and many other accessories that you will going to be needing. But if you don't want to get the Pro set, at least get the screwdriver set. For the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to do this service. You will need one or two sheets of the working workshop towel. You will need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic, whatever you want to call this. 95% plus. Anything under 90 is not good. And your favorite thermal paste, in this case, I'm using an Arctic MX4. You can go over kill a little bit and grab yourself a cryonaut, a thermal grizzly cryonaut. They are really good too, but, but the price for them are, is really high. But I will go with the Arctic MX4. It still get the same performance almost. All right, with all this set, now what we're going to do, we're going to turn off the laptop. We're going to flip it upside down and we're going to remove the screws here. Down here right away, I see there is a missing screw right here. So somebody open it up or it just fall off. So we're going to replace this screw but before that let's remove the service cover to remove the service cover the two screws holding it down in the front end of the laptop remove these two screws all right now we can slide down the cover and lift up the cover next we're going to remove the hard drive by removing two screws that hold the caddy all right now we're going to slide the hard drive this one is an upgraded hard drive so it's slided towards the outside this side and bring it up i made a video how to upgrade ram hard drive how to install the windows if you want to check those videos all right next we're going to remove the screws under this cover which is one right there there and one right in the corner over here so go ahead and remove these screws once you remove those now we're going to continue removing the screws on the outside case before that let's go ahead and remove the battery and it's from the corner and go ahead and remove them. Also, if you guys like my video and it helps you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can do it by clicking like and subscribing to the channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a great, tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos and take requests and help you guys out. I really appreciate that. The three screws that are different are the one in here in the middle. So just keep this them in a different pile. The rest of the screws are the same size and height. Once you remove the middle one, just slide out the caddy for the DVD drive. And under here, there are going to be three more flat, really plain head screws here. Go ahead and remove them. Okay. Once we finish with this one, we're going to unplug the... Wi-Fi cable, just lift them up the cables. Okay, and grab a tweezers. And go ahead and unplug the cable for the speaker. Just bring the cables up and pull the jack from the side of the jack up. So once you remove the jack, leave it there. Now we're gonna open up the laptop and we're gonna remove the keyboard. By sticking the guitar pick in between the keyboard and the palm rest on the top and rotate and pull up. To remove the keyboard, just unhook the hook right here, release the lock, and the flex cable is just gonna slide out. Here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the palm rest cable, just pull it back. And the flex cable for the LCD, just hold it from the sides and evenly push it out. Here, there's a, another flex cable for on off switch. So, and there's one more here for the LEDs, I believe, or, or some other connector on the side. So 
So pretty much we're gonna remove this one, just slide them. There's no lock on these ones. Just slide them out. There's no screws in here. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna stick it between the top and the bottom cover. And we're just gonna wiggle around and just all around in the front end and go to the side, go to the back, do the left and right side. I'm sticking the guitar pick about one or two millimeters. I'm not taking the whole thing in, just a little bit. All right, now that we release the sides and the front end, we're gonna grab the palm rest. We're gonna bring it up and we are just gonna trust on me and bring it up and just squeeze it up a little harder and wiggle around and it will release the clips on the back end. All right, so this is your palm rest. Go ahead and clean it if you need to clean it. And down here we have the rest of the laptop, the fan and everything else. So we're gonna first disconnect this bridge cable right here. So pull this jack out, bring it over, put it underneath so it doesn't disturb you. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the motherboard by the one screw right here at the by the battery. This laptop keeps going back. All right, once you remove this one and remove the bat and the, uh, the screw right on the fan and bring left of the motherboard, bring it out, rotate and unhook the power jack from the bottom. Just slide it out. You can pull down the cables really hard. Those are really tough cables. Nothing's going to happen. Once you did that, now this is the inside. You can go ahead and clean it up if it's dusty. This one is a little bit dusty. Go ahead and clean up those. And uh, here's your motherboard. So let me put a new towel here. So we're gonna remove the heat sink and the fan. To remove the fan, there's one screw here. So go ahead and remove the screw. And once you removed it, just slide out the fan cable. Go ahead and with a toothbrush, you can go clean it with a toothbrush and Leave it in here. We, to remove the heat sink, remove the four screws on the heat sink. All right, once you put the four, remove the four screws, just go ahead and lift up the heat sink. And there's your old thermal paste. What are you going to do? You're going to grab another sheet. That was my last one. Now you're going to grab an alcohol, spray on top, and we're going to clean up the old thermal paste. We are also going to clean up the heat sink. Make sure you take it outside again and clean it with a toothbrush and blow some air. This one is pretty clean. So, and to grab your thermal paste, your favorite, and put one tiny drop right on the middle of the die. You don't have to exaggerate. Grab the heat sink. I bend the legs a little bit backwards so it gives a little more tension towards the CPU so you get a little better contact. Bring it over, align it, and put the screws. Make sure you put the screw across each other. Don't go clockwise or anti clock, uh, counterclockwise. Doesn't matter where you start, there's a number one, two, three, four, but it actually doesn't matter how you start as long as you cross the screw them. Grab the fan, plug in the fan connector. Put that single screw right there. Once we are done here, we're gonna open up the laptop. Now we gotta plug in the power jack, so we're gonna keep it in this position, bring it near to the power jack. And we're gonna slide it right in. It only goes in one way. And twist, bring it down, put down the VGA side port in and just sit it down nicely. Put the flex cable for the LCD, just evenly plug it in. And make sure it's all the way in. Grab the bridge cable, bring it in. And straight, just push it towards the connector. Put the single screw on the motherboard to hold it from the main base. 
put a screw for the fan in the corner. All right, once we're done down here, we're gonna grab the palm rest. You're gonna bring it over, align it on top. I like to put it with an offset position towards the back so I can put the clips on the back side. Okay, before I do anything. So I'll just push down here and I'm gonna rotate like this. And I'm gonna squeeze these clips at the back with my finger, just like this. Just grab them in the corner and just squeeze them in the inside. One by one all the way through the back. You just have to push them, I'm just pinching them from both sides. And now, we're just gonna put it down, squeeze the corner, pinch the front cover and top cover. All right, now we're gonna put the connectors. Grab the keyboard. Open up the lock for the keyboard and slide it all the way in. Make sure it evenly goes in and hold it and just lock it down. Put the bottom of the keyboard in and the, under the palm rest. Grab it from the middle here on the top so you can give a curvature on the side first. So snap the side, make sure you hit those clicks and hold it like a Spider-Man and then come back here and do this side. Just pinch this side down. Once you did both sides, release the middle and just smack down the top row and make sure you hit those tiny clicks. And then you want to close down the screen and we work on the bottom side and we should be really close to finish. Plug in the speaker cables right there. Grab the Wi Fi and Bluetooth antenna and align it right on top of the jack and then push it down. They just push down jacks, so you just have to align them. Just like a Nepal thing, just align and push down, and that's it. It's really simple. All right, grab the flat head screws and put it right under the DVD drive or the fake DVD drive that you have. Okay, let's put the screws under the service cover here. Grab the hard drive, slide in. Put the two screws for the hard drive. I'm just gonna put one screw for the hard drive and the second screw I'm gonna put it for the hinge here because that's more important than having it on the hinge because the caddy is not gonna go anywhere. So I'm just gonna take it from here to go there because these two screws just to prevent this one coming back this way. So one is more than enough. So. Put that one in there if you're missing one. All right, let's put the three skinny screws for the three triangle in there, but make sure you put the caddy in. And then put the, the screws in the middle here. Put the screws in the corner. Put the battery in. Lock it down, grab the service cover, put it in an offset position, slide it back towards the battery, and the last thing would be to put down the two, cover, two screws for holding down the cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own service and maintenance for your laptop, which is a Lenovo. And if you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And as always, if you like the video, please click that like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.